What is up guys, this is Raven. this is the first episode of Best Class to Get the Mo With, in my opinion. So the first class is the ACR setup. So we're using the Silence and the Standard Max on the Golden ACR. And the reason I don't use Kick or Focus or anything like that is because I get it when I get all my perks. So we don't really need it, and we need those Standard Max. So a secondary is the FMG 9 Kimbo, because they are basically the best secondaries you can get. And it's really good at close range. Scorpion, you can also use the Scorpions, because they are also really good. But uh, normally, these guns will, will win the battle if it's between Scorpion and the FMG Nice Akimbo. So we use the Semtex to get that kill you can get by long range if you someone is heckless behind the wall. And we use the portable radar because it's a really good thing to throw it down and see where the enemy is at in a small radius. It's almost as good as the UAV, but it don't cover the whole map. But really useful. So the first perk we get is the Scavenger Pro. And we'll, because we need those as the max, because we don't want to pick up some random gun that our enemy has dropped. So we really need that as the max. And <laughs> scavenger, of course. And uh, yeah, you should probably remember the scavenger when you use this kind of gun. And the second perk we use is the Hardline Pro, which is really good because you can get those assist counters kill. And because wh when you use Hardline, it only takes one kill to get your, s get your first specialist perk with a slider hand, which basically means that when you, when you kill one enemy, you basically get slider hand, and that means that you both have scavenger and slider hand without getting a single kill. If you understand me right, so that's why you use hardline. Also, because you get the special perks just a tiny uh, further, if I can say so. So our third perk is the Stalker Pro, with delay um, uh, triggered explosive like the claymore and bouncing Betty's. and we also need that because we don't use quick door or slider hand. So, the maps that this gun is good at, it underground, interchange, fallen, Bakara, and you can read the rest. This is the maps you really want to use this gun at, because it's really good at long range and these maps are perfect for it. But of course you can use it on a ma other maps, but it's, it's basically the best uh, maps to use this on. Because the other maps you want to use is secondary, uh, no not a secondary, the SMGs or submachine gun. So, let's get right into the gameplay. So right here, I'm using the setup that I just showed you, and the first three perks you get is Slider Hand, Assassin, and Steady Aim. Steady Aim because you want to get that hit fire at close range, if you meet an enemy at close range, as Assassin, because in Ground War, they are just spamming UAVs constant, constantly. And right here, you see me take advantage of some cover behind the wall, so they can get me from the left side, and right in front of me, there's a, a, a little brick that you can take cover behind. So right now, I'm throwing down my uh, positive radar, so I can see all the red dot behind me. And I get the I got the advantage because I'm at high range. So right now I get all my perks and this means I'm basically super soldier. I got kick, focus, and all those impact and all the all, all those good stuff. So that's all the good reason why we use the standard max. Right now I know where the spawns is and they are spawning right there and right there in A. So right now I'm just trying to get my teammates to take C flag because I, I don't really want to jump on the flag when I'm on a specialist perk. Right there I noticed they have the ballistic vest. So right now, I'm aware of they can take some ace shots to put in them. Another thing is that's good doing is always aim when you go around the corner. Because you can catch someone off guard and you can get those first shots in, in them. Which can make sure you get the kill. And if you are getting panic knifed all the time, it's, all the, uh, it's, all, it's a good thing to, you, to aim before you go around the corner. Because maybe you can get the kill. But of course, it's always a good thing to knife. So right now, I'm in this one. They are spawning right there in the back, inside of the building right there, and inside the A spawn. So right now, I can see. Uh, you, cannot, you can't really block a spawn in Momo for free, because they would just spawn there anyway if you go behind something. So right now, I can see they're not in the spawn, so they're either pushing up in the long way where the sniper's at, or they are spawned behind me. And they, they did spawn behind me, I can see the red dots. So they are pushed up to the C flag. So right now I know I have to get to the C flag so they don't get the C and the spawns are flipping all around. So right now I told my friend so he's, he could uh, take care of those guys at the C flag and he did perfectly. So right now they're spawning back at the A flag and I'm aware of that because of that UAV. And right there I aim before I get around the corner and that secured me the kill. Or else I could get no scope or something shit like that. So right here I'm taking advantage of the cars. But you need to be aware of they can explode and kill you. So that's why I don't stay too long at the cars. But if they, it's exploded, that's a good thing. So right here, so many enemies in there. You can either take cover at that wall or go inside. The best thing to do is of course to take cover behind this wall because they were waiting for me to come inside the door and they would just pick me up so easily. So right now you see all the red dots behind me and I know the spawns right there, so I call it the Moab and that's a nice little thing. So right now I can see we're losing, so I have to 
Just stay alive and wait for the mob to go off so I can go in and take that A flag. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So right now when the mob go off, I'm just going to jump on the flag and secure us to win. But I'm going to cut off, cut off the gameplay. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks. And I'm, I hope you're looking forward to the next episode. So uh, leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.